I uh, just got off work early today, so I'm running up into the mountains right now. Uh, got off really early, and uh, today is actually the uh, second day into the uh, high buck season. So I have my rifle with me today, and I'm going to be looking to find the three-pointer better buck. There I'm in. We'll probably have like a bench leg or something, but I don't care. I'm, I'm, a, meat, I'm a meat hunter, so it doesn't really matter to me. I just hope I uh, see a deer. Other than that, there's uh, still bobcats are open, cougars are open, bears still open. I'd love to find a bear up here. I've been up here already looking for a bear. I've had buddies see bears up here. I know a bear's been taken already this year up here. And uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna be carrying two guns up with me on this hike today. Cause uh, grouse season opened yesterday. Woo! So uh, I actually already have a uh, shotgun ready beside me, a couple rounds in my hand, just in case on this uh, road up ahead, where it turns into gravel, in case I see a grouse. Hop out real quick and hopefully at least I'll have something to eat tonight. Well, uh, wish me luck, I guess. All right, well, visibility is pretty much going to disappear here in a couple of seconds because the area is like getting covered in smoke. Like, it is thick. I can smell it right now. It's getting bad. So I think I might hike out of here a little early, but even before sunset. It's a bummer. But just look at this. Like, I'm going to spin you around show you like where it's kind of clear and where the smoke's just coming in right now. So you can see it's pretty darn clear right over there. Now you go to the left, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I was able to see that hill over there very clearly like five minutes ago. So the smoke is getting bad, and it's getting bad quick. Like, I can, I, it, I can smell it like crazy. There must be a fire really close to here. Yeah, it's funny, on the news today, I was listening to them like brag about how well they're controlling all the fires. And now there's one right next to me not their fault just just saying it's a funny coincidence uh, yeah just look at this this is this is crazy Well, I've been kind of racing against the uh, smoke here. As you can see, it's right there. Covering right there. There's my trail down. It's like the only spot that's clear. I am like, I am like just barely ahead of the smoke. Might be making my best time down this mountain though. <laughs> So, there's a bonus to everything. Alright. <clears throat> well, I just made it back down to my truck. And she a beaut. Oh yeah. I'm going to take my packs off here. Don't need this guy anymore. I'm out of deer country. Ooh. 
It was getting hot on the way down. That smoke is getting really bad. Just passed some people on the way down. And they were, just in case I see a grouse, and they were uh, on their way up. And I was like, I like let them know. It's just getting super bad. They're not going to be able to see anything up there that they're, they're wanting to see. So no point in running all the way up there. It's a serious, seriously long hike to go look at some smoke. Except that guy next to me for the road. He was lucky. Nope, never got to even load it. And one last thing. Here's something I highly recommend if you're gonna be out in the woods like this is to uh, do this right here. Oh, yeah. It's a trail camera. I like to put this guy out here on my car while I'm gone so that if somebody messes with my car, which out in the woods here, like we are miles from anywhere and it would be very easy to just mess with someone's vehicle so i actually today set up two yeah they were just in my vehicle so i was like they're both in my vehicle so i was like i guess i can set up two you know in case somebody spots one because trail cameras they got legs in case you're wondering and they can just walk right off. All right, well, time to head back to civilization. Got the heaters off. I don't want to be sucking any of that smoke. Well, I just wanted to stop real quick. I'm on my way out right now and just kind of show you it's it's clear right now the map says it's clear it's just it's there's so much smoke down here that it's literally turning the sky to make it look like it's cloudy you can kind of see like the red hue over there that's crazy looking but yeah it's just it's smoky you, you can't see barely anything there's the hill i was on right there i'm actually the hill after that one when i was up there but yeah, the smoke is just <clears throat> so bad here right now. It's kind of ridiculous. There's probably a way to like check for when smoke or like is gonna be blowing in your area. And I need to figure that out because that wasn't that wasn't fun. It wasn't good at all. I tried to get the camera on it. It's driving around, just came around the corner. Check it out guys. Anyway, come around the corner. Bam. There it is. There's a gorgeous bird. Super freaking tasty. <laughs> There's one to start the year off right there. Oh. Thank you, dear father, for this bird. What a gorgeous bird. I'm like shaking. <laughs> oh. but yeah, I have a shot cam on. Something's wrong with it. I don't know, I, I like kept hitting the barrel and the bird is just standing there staring at me. Just hitting the barrel and just looking at me like Maybe it felt like eternity, but it was probably like, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then all of a sudden I was shooting. <laughs> Waited long enough, but yeah, 
There it is. One of the one of the most beautiful birds you'll ever see. Ah. Turn it so you don't look at my car. There we go. Yeah. What a beautiful bird. So yeah, tonight we'll we'll get it, take it apart, and see what it was sitting up here eating. It's probably it. last light here, just on the road collecting some gravel. Oh man. This is like a cliff right here. I shot him. He just shooting straight down. And so I just run. And like I tumble down this hill. <laughs> and I hit my knee and everything else. But I got the bird and I'm okay. So that's all that matters. So yeah. There it is. Gorgeous. Grass. I can just eat tonight. Just super, super excited. I think it's a young bird too because there's barely any feathers on the tail. Uh, I wonder if you can make a fan out of it. <laughs> I get a bunch of grouse and make a fan. Yeah, all right. Heck yeah, guys. Got her done. Let's get driving and see if we can find some more. All right, well, it's kind of dark now, but... Figured I should display this as well. In Washington State, you have to actually give them a uh, wing and the tail. So I just got a pair of lopping shears here for that. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop off one wing and one tail. And you just stick them. Then you're going to go ahead and fill out all this information here. Alright, so here's my beautiful bird. It's kind of a bummer to, to cut off a wing like this. Just go ahead, here, just a, that's a little better. And then you just kind of get it up in there, take it, crunch it down. And that'll break the bone. Then you take your knife. Then you got the wing, then you go ahead and get the tail. This one says a little bit of skin on because there you go. You take all that, get rid of the bag, some feathers, give them some extra ones. Then you just deposit it into the barrel here. All right, so go ahead and got all that information written down for them. You got two lines here. And then I'm just going to go ahead deposit this into the barrel there for them that'll help the scientists and everybody else who's studying the animal too this is something else always return the pencil other people are going to need it and that'll help uh scientists and the uh, managers to better set dates and uh amounts for the species so that we could hopefully harvest more in the future all right that should just about deer. Okay, a nice piece of meat right there.
fucking piece of me right there. Don't forget those. Those are just as good as the rest. All right, well, let's check out what this bird can eat. Looks like he's been eating a bunch of blueberries. A bunch of uh, ferns. And a bunch of blueberries. A bunch of blueberries. All right. Well, that's how you clean a grouse right there. All right. Well, now that I got all that started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up the meat one last time. I'm going to rinse it all off and then place it on a paper towel. Couple of very nice pieces of meat right there. This is some of the best stuff you will ever get in the woods right here. All I'm gonna do today <clears throat> is throw a little salt and pepper on them. And that's it. Nothing crazy, because honestly, you could probably throw them in the way they are, and it'd still be very good. All right. <clears throat> This pan getting plenty hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch the meat to it. If it sizzles, it's ready. It's kind of smoking already. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe not enough oil there. Keep it from sticking. Yeah, there you go. Now this is not now this is not gonna take very long. As you can see, the tiny piece there, he looks like he's almost cooked halfway through right now. So I'm gonna flip him in like 30 seconds here and check the others. Okay. Then checking. Okay, let's back over. 
So we'll test the other side. Those legs are probably going to be ready here in a second to be flipped as well. Okay, that piece is done. Okay, that piece. It does not take a lot for this meal. It's very quick, simple. Here's a pro tip right here. Turn on your oven. Take the plate you're gonna be using. Set it in the oven and it's gonna heat up nice and easy. Pull that thing out before it gets too hot. Put your food on that and it's not going to like absorb all the heat from your food and cool down your food before you have a chance to eat it. Okay, I think those guys are done. Doesn't take a lot. That one kind of looks like an oyster or something. Turn that one out. There we go. And that, some of the best pieces of meat you'll ever get out of the woods. Get them bigger, put it on top, add some veggies to here, and that'll be a perfect meal. Anyway, so uh, the other day, uh, like yesterday, I went out and I was uh, looking for some high buck and just happened to have all that smoke just come in on me like just crazy, just a wall of smoke just coming at me. And I thought it was fog for the longest time. Like I was just watching, I was like, that's the craziest fog. It was coming from the north. I was just sitting up there. And all and I'm just like watching this area because I saw a doe there like during bear season. And so I decided, well, during early bear season, so I decided to go back there for high buck. And I was just waiting. And this fog's just coming towards me. And then I'm like sitting there and I start smelling something. I'm like, this isn't just a fog. This is this is smoke. And it is like thick and like in the footage you probably saw already it you could see like it was literally like a wall coming towards me and so I was like do I really want to sit up here and like get my lungs all destroyed and possibly see a buck I mean don't get me wrong I've, I've done it for elk all last year I just hung out in the smoke but anyway so I decided to just get out of there because there's plenty more deer season and so I grabbed my gun packed everything up and ran down that mountain you could see like the smoke coming like around both sides of that hill or the ridge I was on just coming towards me and I started driving out and all of a sudden a grouse is just there in the middle of the road and I'm like well hello and I hop out get my gun on it I have my uh, shot cam actually on my gun and so I had it on like all day and just the one time I could have used it it died and so I was just hitting my barrel and my gun trying to get it to take footage and it wasn't taking footage so I just took the shot ran down got the grouse and I'm just super excited anyway let's say grace and start chow down oh I completely forgot fork all right God is great God is good let us thank you for this food in Jesus name amen all right guys hope you enjoyed this one here I'll grab this little piece real quick so you can see me a little bit before I Turn this off and watch my show. Oh yeah, guys. That's freaking good. Hmm. Get out there and don't hunt the grouse. Save them all for me. Save them all for me. Start focusing on other things, all right? Set your sights a lot higher. Don't even... Mm. Don't even think about hunting grouse. Last thing on your mind. Save them all for me.